Hello everyone and welcome to the next Let's Play. This here is Metroid 2 Return of Samus for the Game Boy. Now you can tell right off the bat that this is not in black and white. Instead, um, well this is obviously being played on an emulator so it's a feature in the emulator to swap colors so so the sprites are pretty much yellowish and uh, background is all blue so it's like Big dip on a bus style, because he done this color palette on his Let's Play, so let's start. Alright, now. So the whole premise of the game is that you go into the planet, uh, what's it called again? SR3A8, and your mission is to go and exterminate the Metroids. Why? Because the damn space pirates keep abusing their power. Here's a nice shortcut you can take. Makes things a lot faster, doesn't it? So because of those space pirates abusing the Metroid's power, Samus is sent out down to the planet to exterminate them. So, um... So for the Metroid uh, storyline, this is like... First off, it started out with Metroid slash Zero Mission, followed by the Prime series, and then this game. Then shortly after is Super Metroid. Alright. So here we got, like, some sort of a variety of monsters here. Here we have, like, one of those uh, small enemies that just slowly go back and forth in the air like that. We see different variants of that. And I think that those hopping ones are called horn nose, but don't quote me on that. And we got something worse than a Metroid. Oh crap. And that was an uh, evolution of a Metroid, which is an Alpha Metroid. And whenever you defeat a certain amount of Metroids, you'll eventually get yourself an Earthquake, which means that the lava has receded in the planet, which allows you to go explore further into the planet. So my thoughts about this game here, um... Rather interesting story how I came across this game, as well as my uh, interest into the Metroid series. I basically borrowed this game from somebody, and I didn't give it back. <laughs> I'm a terrible human being. Uh, let's go ahead and save here. So anyway, I got this game that I borrowed from somebody, but I, and I didn't give it back. Uh, I would have give it back if he want if I whoever that person was. I forgot who I borrowed it from, but um. Well, he ain't getting it back now, because he probably forgot about me. Well, I would have given it back to him if he said so, but he didn't, so... But hey, you know what? I kind of make up for that, because I let other people borrow my stuff. Like my cousin, he has, like, my PSP and my laptop cooler now. <laughs> you know what? I just practically gave that to him, because I don't use it anymore. You know what? Why do I keep giving away things? I can just sell them for a quick buck and just keep the money to myself. Huh. Oh, whatever. I think I'm just too generous. Look at these things. Uh, these things. They look like pancakes with eyes. So anyway, after playing this game uh, for a while, it got it was rather interesting. So I went ahead and uh, heard about the uh, the next game, Super Metroid, and I went ahead and bought that one. And I was kind of like at a, young, at a young age where I found that to be quite scary, actually, for Super Metroid. And uh, so because of that, I decided to give that over to Flapjack as well for a little while until I was old enough and then have the balls to play that again, and then... And then I completed it, so there you go. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, but that was only the young me. Right now, not a whole lot of things scare me now. However, there could be some things that could scare me. Like, uh... I'm sure you guys know as the right reaction, because he does this series of videos. They're basically Let's Plays, but he doesn't label them as Let's Plays, so... He just says... It's like the title of the video says, like... Um, game name here with commentary or something. So what he's done his is a series of videos called uh, LSD, which is a game, which is a weird game for the PS1. Basically, what what you do is that you go around walking around and you see some weird things, as if like you're taking LSD. Hence the name LSD. But I think the game was based on somebody's dream journal, but I don't know. But it's still a weird game. Wait. I lost train of thought. What just happened? Okay, sorry about that, cuz... Sorry about that, um... I got... I got too tranced in my talking that I thought I missed something, but I didn't, so... Sorry about that. <laughs> Because, you see, I'm trying to go for, like, 100% items in this game, and, uh... I just wanted to make sure I had... I, I, I had to make sure that I've... gotten what I need or something. Alright, so... Anyway. Reasons that I kind of like this game, well... Well, I would, I would say it's one of the first uh, Game Boy games that I've owned. Well, actually not owned, I mean borrowed. <laughs> Ow, you asshole. <laughs> well, it's one of the uh, first few Game Boy games that I played, that is. So anyway. As you can see, there's a missile expansion right up here, so there we go. I shot the block so that, uh, and then I jumped into it at the right time, so when it comes back, it'll damage me, so I jump up like that. Up we go. Ah, stop it, you asshole. <laughs> what the fr- whoa. Alright, I'm going to have to cut this off like a few minutes early. Uh, never mind what I just said. And here we are. Alright, next power up over here. Oh, dang it. Pardon me. And whoa, we're falling. How are we going to get out with this? So, spider ball. This here will allow you to climb up the walls. Just press down again while you're in morph, morph ball form, and you'll climb your way out. We're going to be using spider ball for a while. Eventually, we're going to get another power-up. Now you see that there's another Metroid egg here, which means that there's a Metroid somewhere nearby. And that would be right here. Ow! All done. And I jump! Alright, let's head back into the ruins now. Okay, one weird... Th Ow! Screw you. One weird thing that I want to bring up is that... Whatever YouTube has done recently. And if you know what I mean by weird, you would know by now. It's the weird soccer ball thing that you would see in the video player. Like, when you click on it, it plays a three-second loop 
of this weird noise. Like, I don't know what it is. So... Nah. Forget them. Ow. What was that thing, anyway? It looked like a bloated mosquito. <laughs> and these we these things are weird, too. Well, they just keep on spawning, like, forever. You can probably go there for, like, farming for energy if you need that, but I probably won't need it. <laughs> 